All right, you guys, we're going to get right into some Arizona Cardinals football talk on today. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Do not miss an upload because on this channel, we talk sports, period. And we have been covering the Arizona Cardinals all season long, all off season. We've been talking about the Cardinals. We're going to continue to talk about the Cardinals on today. We're going to talk about the growth and development of Isaiah Simmons in this video installment. And we're also going to talk about the preseason game and what players do you guys want to see the most um, on Friday night, the Cardinals against the Dallas Cowboys. All right, guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys, I want to talk about Isaiah Simmons and I want to talk about Zayvon Collins. You know, apparently these two young guys are going to be the linebackers that the Arizona Cardinals will be using. Both of these guys are young. They draft Isaiah Simmons last season. And there was a lot of development for Isaiah Simmons. Now, the biggest thing I'm going to say about how the Cardinals handle Isaiah Simmons, I think it probably could have been a little bit better to process. I think like this, you know what I'm saying? This is just my opinion, guys. This is what I'm thinking. Isaiah Simmons should have been a guy, when you look at Isaiah Simmons and his skill set, he should have been a guy that hits the ground running from day one. Just like Zayvon Collins is going to get the opportunity to hit the ground from day one, you're going to get a chance to make your rookie mistakes and everything, you know, over in Baltimore, the Baltimore Ravens let Patrick uh, Queen do his thing, hit the ground and running. And I think that the Cardinals did a disservice to Isaiah Simmons by not allowing him to make the mistakes. Yeah, I know you had the uh, veteran leadership over there with uh, Devondre Campbell and he played well. Devondre Campbell, when he was on the team. He played well. I, I won't take anything away from him. But when you draft a guy number eight overall, you are thinking about this guy making an immediate impact. Now, I know sometimes you got to pick up the schemes and maybe Isaiah Simmons had like some issues picking up the scheme because how he was used at Clemson is he was just like a, a jack of all trades. He was used at the safety, at the corner spots. Isaiah Simmons was doing a lot. He was a Swiss Army knife for the Clemson Tigers. But now you get drafted into the NFL and the Cardinals are going to use you at linebacker. Now, not saying that Isaiah Simmons um, couldn't pick up everything, but I'm just saying you have to allow players to make their mistakes. Players are going to make mistakes out on the football field. Yeah, he blew an assignment against the San Francisco 49ers, but he has to learn. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand that you got to pick up the back out of the backfield, you know, and he probably didn't understand who he had on that play, on that particular play. And he tried to give it his all by trying to chase the guy down, but it was too late. Um, Raheem Mustard ended up scoring a touchdown off a catch and run. And I think Isaiah Simmons learned a lot from that, but they was giving him limited amount of snaps and things of that nature. What I, when I just think that the way you build up a player's confidence is you let them play. You let them hit the ground running. If you're going to give that same uh, opportunity to Xavier Collins this season, you should have gave it to Isaiah Simmons last season. Now, Isaiah Simmons, after he had an epiphany, after he played in that Seattle game, and he finally got an interception and made a big play. And after that point, Isaiah Simmons started to play really, really well for the Cardinals on defense. He started understanding how he's supposed to play what he's supposed to do out there, things of that nature. Now with Zavin Collins, Zavin is going to hit the ground running from day one. They've already communicated to the veteran Jordan Hicks that he will not even get an opportunity to compete for the linebacker spot. So they did not trade him in the offseason, which I think he probably should have been traded or released so he can find a team that he can go to so he'll get an opportunity to play especially being a veteran who led the team in tackles last season with Buda Baker. Buda Baker had 118 tackles and Jordan Hicks had 118 tackles. Now, maybe if Buda Baker doesn't miss uh, that one game, he probably ends up leading the team in tackles. But both of those guys had 118 tackles and now Jordan Hicks will now be backing up one Mr. Zayvon Collins, who you drafted number uh, 16 overall in the 2021 NFL Draft. Now, the thing with Xavier Collins is, very smart guy, very good guy. And definitely he got his nose a little wet when he came to Arizona. 
And uh, he ended up getting arrested for, you know, driving a little fast. So I think he probably learned his lesson from that. You can't be around here <laughs> doing 76 uh, miles an hour in a 35, bro. Can't be doing that. But at the same time, I think that Zevin Collins is a stud at linebacker. He was one of my favorite linebackers that I saw in this draft class. And the talent is there, and dude can be a monster. Now, it looks like Zavin Collins is going to be the guy from day one calling the plays. And when you're asking this from a rookie, I don't know how well Zavin Collins is going to do. But he's one of the guys that I want to see the most uh, because you're handing the keys to him. You're actually literally taking the keys from his big brother, Jordan Hicks, and you're giving it to him and saying, hey, man, go ahead and take the car. It's your time. So I want to see what Jordan Hicks is going to bring to the table. What type of player is, uh, I mean, not Jordan Hicks, excuse me about that, guys, Xavier Collins. I want to see what type of player Xavier Collins is going to be in year one because the growth and development of Isaiah Simmons is going to be pivotal going forth for the Arizona Cardinals. Now, everybody knows that both of these guys can cover well. They're very athletic. Xavier Collins is a big dude. You're talking about 6'5", 200 60 pounds a big dude and both of these guys are good in coverage but the biggest thing about football is that you have to have the iq when you get out on the field it's not about just being talented and being able to have all these different measurables and stuff like that what really matters is what you bring to the table when you get out on the field are you a smart enough player to know what player you're supposed to be picking up do you get the tight end on this uh do you rush the quarterback do you go in for the uh do you go in for the uh the the receiver? What do you do? You know, what do you do in this moment? So definitely I think that Xavier Collins is is able to do it. I think that he's a smart player, but you're asking him and Isaiah Simmons to get this thing done. You drafted these guys, both guys. Uh, back to back season drafting linebackers in the first round. So that lets you know that the Arizona Cardinals is trying to build this defense. And also, you want to also make Chandler Jones happy as well. You got to extend Chandler Jones unless you plan on allowing him to walk at the end of the season. But definitely, man, Chandler Jones is the heart and soul of this defense, and you know what he brings to the table. But back to what we're talking about, we don't want to go down a, a rabbit hole. Zavin Collins and Isaiah Simmons must be the real deal. Coming into this season, both guys have to be the real deal. Both of these guys have to play exceptionally well. They got to pick up the playbook and hit the ground running because the keys have been given to both of these young linebackers to take over and to be the real deal out on the field. Now, when it comes to the Arizona Cardinals playing the Dallas Cowboys this Friday. Players that I want to see the most is Zavin Collins. I want to see Isaiah Simmons as well. See how he's going to mesh with uh, Zavin Collins. I want to see Rondell Moore. I want to see A.J. Green if they allow him to get any time out on the field, any snaps or anything like that. I want to see how Kyler Murray is adjusting to the offense and is he playing smarter and is he getting better. I know he's not going to play a lot out there. Because I believe that Des, uh, Deck Prescott is uh, nursing a shoulder injury too as well. So, uh, you know, you're going to see a little bit of the Cowboys out there as well. They probably have a few starters out there, but not everybody. Some of these guys will get a few snaps or whatever. But uh, I want to see how the defense is going to look for the Arizona Cardinals. I want to know how uh, Marco Wilson is going to look out there. How uh, Tay Godwin is going to look. Giving those young guys the opportunity to get out there and show what they can do. And that's what I want to see, man. I want to see a lot of these young guys that wouldn't get the opportunity um, to be out there in normal cases to be able to get that opportunity and be able to get that look so you can kind of have a little assessment on those guys as far as their development. But I can't wait to see the game on Friday night. Make sure you guys subscribe to Noble Sports Entertainment. And as always, we're going to continue covering the Arizona Cardinals. I'm out of here. Peace.